Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, make sure to subscribe because the best can pay for themselves. Help us this out. I've kind of made this my new filming setup because I filmed my previous video here and it just felt a bit more adequate to film my video here instead of in my bed within that table over there which I just realized you cannot see. Today's video is an album review slash EP review because it's not a full album, it's an EP and it's on Poppy's new EP, Choke. And I knew, I know I said in the Choke song review that I probably would not make a EP review of this EP if it would only be Scary Mask voicemail Choke in another song, but it turned out being Scary Mask voicemail and Choke in two other songs. And also, I, I, when I listened to it, I literally still had no intentions of reviewing it up until I finished the EP. And I had so many thoughts and opinions and just things to talk about with this EP. Then I was like, you know what, let's just film an EP review. So I wrote everything down. I have it in front of me, laid out. So now, if you want to hear my thoughts on Poppy's new EP, Choke, then you keep on watching. I know this video comes a bit late, but I've just been really busy organizing and planning some things for an announcement that's going to be coming on Wednesday, which I'm actually really, really excited about. It feels like it's a last minute thing, but I've actually been planning this for a little while now. So um, it'll be fun. It'll be exciting. I think this EP is definitely a brand new morphing of Poppy. I guess it's kind of like her metamorphosis with this record because it sounds completely different than her past three works that she's, her past three bodies of work that she's released, Bubble Bath, Poppy Duck Computer, and Amaya Girl. It sounds completely different than everything she's done prior, but also the beauty of Poppy is that every project she embarks on sounds completely different. Her first EP doesn't sound nothing like her debut album, her debut album nothing like her ambient album, her am ambient album nothing like her sophomore album, her sophomore album nothing like this EP. And that's the beauty of Poppy and that's what I love about, you know, artists in general. When they're able to morph from one thing to another within record after record and that's what I love about her so much. And this EP in general definitely revolves around a much more darker aesthetic and darker theme than in my girl obviously the cover for choke is you know the classic poppy with a white background and just her and with Amaya girl it was a black and white picture with a black background however this one is still a lot more darker than in my girl and you know the way i heard this ep was like a, from an uphill to a downhill mountain it was like from choke to voicemail, we were going up and then scary mask is the apex and then we go from me to the holy mountain and we go down, 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 down. So it's definitely from a rise to a low. And that was really interesting. That was really interesting because not many people make a range records in that way where it feels like you're going from an uphill mountain and then when you get to the middle of the of the work you go to a downhill mountain it's like going from a sugar rush to a sugar crash that's how i see it the lyrics definitely in this work are a lot more deeper and i feel like there is a lot more to decrypt i literally could make three more videos just decrypting all of the lyrics to some of the songs i think the one song that stands out by far, which I'm just gonna say it right now, I know it's really early on in this review, but the standout song in this record is Meat. And I think what caught my attention when I first listened to the song, and then as I started listening to it more and more, is that I feel, and it has to be true, because I wouldn't really be able to see any other explanation for this record, but the way I see this record, it's her putting herself in the shoes of animals that are slaughtered, for produce, for food, for consumption, for other reasons. I feel like it's she herself putting herself in the shoes of animals that are slaughtered in Slaughterhouse. And it's very well depicted within the lyrics and also how coarse the song is and how abrasive the song is as well. And then the lyrics that Titanic Sinclair recites also give off that idea that, you know, she's putting herself let's just say and this is not offensive let's just say she's putting herself in a pig's shoes she's a pig that sounds not good but i hope you all understand it's like she's a pig in a slaughterhouse and they're bunching them together and they're killing each and every one of them 
obviously for various reasons or cows you know what she's a cow that's even worse it sounds even worse i know but let's just say it's like she's putting herself in the shoes of a cow which a cow is used for many more reasons than just produce like you know they use the the, the skin of cow for leather for i mean this chair i don't know i don't know if this chair is real leather but for leather for their hair as well, hair slash fur. They do use cow fur as well, sometimes calf hair um, for bags and so many other luxury items and obviously for food, again. I personally believe rock music and heavy metal music and that really aggressive and loud pop music is Poppy's forte. I think that's where she excels by far. Obviously the bubblegum pop image looks good on her and it looks nice and it definitely looks flattering on her but where she really stands out the most and where she really excels in creativity is in those hard rock elements and it's in those heavy metal elements and it's in those really abrasive pop synths where she just really takes it up a notch and goes further than most pop girls in this day and age go and the way another way i heard this record was that the whole thing it goes from suffocation to outrage to finding peace or another way i see it actually is from struggle to outrage to death because the final song in this record is called the holy mountain and the way i see it it's kind of like poppy died at the end of the of the record it's as if poppy died and it's as if something entirely new is going to be coming for the next project and look poppy's a hard working girl i'm sure she already has the fourth album finished and done and ready to go because when i talked to her at the amaya girl show she told me she was already done with choke when you know, Maya Girl had come out, and obviously at the time I didn't know that it was Choke. But I feel like it's kind of the. W it's hard to describe it because I also don't want to, you know, put out any inaccuracies out there in the world. But the way I see it, it's the death of Poppy. That's how I see it. That's how I see this record because it's loud, it's aggressive, it's coarse, it's really just i guess it sounds angry at times but then at the very end it's like a sudden death like you're finally in heaven and you see the gates of heaven and god approaches you that's how i see this record in its totality and it to me it truly is just such a stellar piece of work and it just adds a, a bigger layer to the poppy universe and i don't know if i'm the only person who sees it that way um i hope i'm not the only person who sees it that way but overall i give this record a 9.5 out of 10 i kind of <laughs> the only reason i give it a 9.5 out of 10 is because i wish there could have been more songs i wish it wasn't just an ep i wish it was a full length 13 song album that would really go even deeper into this element because you know post genre pop and this rock and heavy metal feel fits her really well and i really hoped that it would not have been an ep and would have been a longer album with her exploring more of those elements with self opening up with choke and finishing with the holy mountain but exploring more exploring more of that death that i feel is there anyways that is it for today's video if you enjoyed it make sure to give it a massive thumbs up and comment down below your thoughts and opinions on poppy's choke do you agree or do you disagree with what i said in this video and as well subscribe if you're new because the bills get paid themselves help us this out get ready this week there's going to be video after video after video after video i am just churning out videos like churning out pancakes and i will see you tomorrow